Hey everyone, so another unboxing today from speedcubeshop.com and we're going to be taking a look at the GAN 356M. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. You saw in the beginning it comes with a bag, uh, the GES springs and extra nuts, um, but let's just see how the actual cube is. So this puzzle does come in a light version and I believe the only difference is that the light version doesn't have these spare um, GES nuts. And so it's really only a couple of, uh, dollars difference and I guess it's really just up to you whether or not you want um, more options for the spring adjustments. Um, so I'll definitely have to try these out in a bit but let's just go ahead and see how this cube actually turns. Alright, so just from the first few turns, it's actually really reminiscent of the 356XS. Um, it sort of has that same papery, frosted, sandy smoothness to it. You can also sort of hear it in the turning too. Well, it just kind of feels papery, um, but it is definitely really smooth. And I can tell that with lubrication, it'll definitely become really buttery smooth. Um, it's just that the magnets themselves, you can feel them slightly as you're turning, so it adds a slightest bump and just a hint of crunchiness to it. Um, so definitely really reminiscent of the XS, and I would say if you're looking to try out that puzzle, um, go ahead and go for the 356M. Um, the only difference is that this cube doesn't have the adjustable magnet system, um, but the magnets themselves are actually a really great strength already, so I don't think it's really that necessary. Um, you can definitely notice them as you're turning, and it provides a really great stability between the layers, and it's at the same time, it's not overpowering, so it's not going to slow you down or obstruct your turning all that much. Much. Um, and just overall, it's a really, really great magnetic budget cube from GAN. You know, it's not meant to be a budget cube, but compared to their other releases, this one is actually much more reasonably priced. Um, so if you're looking to sort of break into the more professional level speed cubes, uh, this one would definitely be it. So overall, the turning is definitely really great. Um, nothing too different from your current modern speed cubes. You know, corner cutting, out of the box, straight 45 super easily and reverse half a piece also really easily too. And so like I said before, the only difference between the light version and this is the inclusion of extra GES nuts. Um, so all these do is provide different spring tensions and so like lighter springs have more of a looser feeling to them and heavier springs provide more tension and slow down the puzzle just a little bit. Um, we can see in the stock cube we have those blue springs and there are three main settings that you can just turn to um, so it's really just gonna come down to whatever kind of feeling you prefer uh, for me personally these blue ones actually do a really great job already you know it's at a nice speed for me it's not too fast but it's also not definitely not slow at all you can see you pretty much go at any speed that you want to um, so out of the box, you know, I can't really say anything bad about it. It has a really enjoyable feeling. Um, it's pretty much a cheaper version of the 356XS to me. Um, great corner cutting, magnet strength is perfect. Um, and I can tell that with setting up, it's only going to get better from here. So if you are interested in picking up the GAN 356M, it's actually on sale over at speedcubeshop.com right now. So check out the site and feel free to use my code TCK for discounts on all your orders. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this unboxing. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.